and uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody for contributing to this conference and the working group, especially with uh, very professional chairing. The proposals are good and I'm especially satisfied with the suggestions about a common European identity, but also on the suggestions about upskilling the human capital as well as the infrastructure. When citizens can work, and continuous, uh, continuously develop their skill, we will have a strong democracy and a strong economy. With these suggestions, we will come closer to solve one of the larger problems that we have on the job market, the mismatch with what unemployed people have in the competence toolbox and what skills the companies need. The frustration is big on both sides. People want to work, they want to belong, they want to, to contribute and make their dreams come true. But also companies want to hire. So when people can work, we also benefit from the local level, the regional level, the national level, because people pay taxes and we can have all that matters that we are talking about here, healthcare, defense, education and so on. It's a win-win situation. And the digitalization measures suggested will empower and strengthen and equip citizens with the 21st century skills. And I think it's wonderful when citizens are involved in building their future Europe and the European democracy will definitely be benefit and bloom from discussions on important topics. So thank you very much.